So now that we understand how to organize our pages, let's actually take a look at the page and look at the structure of the page itself. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button again to have it fold back up into my Files panel. Now that it's over here, let's open up just our dwenvironment.html. Once I open this up, let's just go into Split View if it's not already so that you can take a look at the page itself and the elements over on the left-hand side. So if we're taking a look at the structure itself, we notice that the very first thing that we see is a doc type. My doc type is very important. It makes sure that the browser is seeing the page correctly and producing what I have on my page correctly as far as CSS, etc. Basically, that's what my XHTML is a part of, is making sure that it understands the CSS. Next, we'll take a look at line two. Line two is the beginning tag for my HTML. I want to make sure and keep everything on my page inside of my HTML tags. If anything goes outside, it not only won't be shown, won't be a part of my HTML, but it could eventually end up adding weight to my page as well. Now, I only say that because once upon a time, I had a client who we worked on the initial site, the look and feel of the site, then we handed off the site to the client. She added pages to her site, then she started adding text. After about three months, she said that she couldn't open a page. Next thing we know, we look at the page, it's three megs, and all of the text she had was underneath the end of her HTML tag, and she wasn't paying attention where she was adding text at all. She couldn't see it in the design view, so she didn't think it was a part of the page. So even if you're not that comfortable yet with looking at code, we want to make sure and look at the code eventually so we don't add any text, HTML, etc., other than what we want on the page itself. If you scroll down and look at the bottom of the page in the code view, you will see your end tag. The majority of the tags that we work with in HTML have a beginning and an end part of the tag. You'll see that the end part of my HTML is designated with a forward slash. Let's scroll back up and take a look at the line three of my page, and that is my head tags. Now, my head tags are not visible when I take a look at my page. This is content that we would have, let's say, a keyword or a description, and we'll add that in just a few minutes. And other content like making sure that we have a style sheet applied to our page. If it's going to link and it's going to be an external style sheet, it will be inside of our head tags. Other things that we can have inside of our head tags might be if we want a fav icon, so a little icon to go along with our page, or maybe we want to say who the author is. All of that information goes inside of our head tags. Again, we will add some head information in just a minute. I see a title. Now this is the second time that we have been able to see the title. I see it in the upper part of my window, title, untitled document. I see it here as well. And this is really just so that you can make sure and title that document. You do not want untitled document when you put your files up on top of your server and you take a look at your browser and you have no idea what site or whatever you're on just by looking at the page. This also helps search engines as well. So we, again, want to make sure that we title our page. The next element that we have, and I'll just scroll down a little bit, is our body tag. Everything that is actually visible inside of your browser for your website will be inside of your body tags. So I always want to make sure when I'm adding paragraphs, text, etc., if I'm doing it right inside of the code, I want to make sure that I'm adding it inside of that body tag itself. So you see that I have a paragraph at the top of my page. Everything that's inside of my paragraph is then designated by my P tag. Again, a beginning and a close tag. Same thing with my headers. I have a heading one, a heading two, a heading three, and a heading four, designated by H1, beginning and close tag. And I have an unordered list. So my unordered list is designated by a UL, and then the actual list items on the page as well. We'll be making those when we take a look at text.